Oh, I've been asked to send, send you this audio recording uh, a thing I saw a couple of months back. Uh, I was doing my normal spotting like I do. It was Saturday night. And uh, oh, well, I, 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 I was Derek. It's supposed to come in my brain, didn't they let me down? So I went on my own. Well, oh, my favourite spot where I've been going for years and years is Nate Bridge. You might have just seen it a minute ago on Noah's film. And, uh, oh, I'm happy and fiery there, just waiting for someone to come along. And, uh, there's this rustling noise. So, me being a healthy bugger, I think so, so it's not down here. So, as I look over at your bridge, you have to look at it. And it's about 50 yards away. And at best, I thought it were a deer. And I'm looking at it and looking, it's shooting around and sniffing it, you know. Then I'm thinking to me, so that's a bit too big for it's too bulky for a deer. So, and I remember, so I was getting my bag off of me, so I would turn my bag off. Got myself a little bit higher up on bridge. It's not the best weather, the wind's blowing straight out of me away, you know, from it to me. And uh, they're a bit stinky, but it stinks around there sometimes anyway. Rabbits getting run over on railway lines and all sorts. So I wax them on, and I look at it. And by the Christ, I tell you, it was, a, it was like a donkey. It was a donkey. Well, like a dog, a big bloody dog, I'm telling you now, a big one. You know, I'm thinking, what the hell is, what, what if, you know, I just said I was, I was in disbelief what I was looking at. So, like I say, it's all it's making me go wonky now, just talk a bit. I say, yes, very big as a donkey, I mean, his head, his head looked too big, I tell you what it's, his head looked like, a baboon, it was a, yeah, that was it, it was like a cross between a, a big horse or a donkey and a baboon, and it's on all fours, and it's sniffing around, I know I'm like proper cacking it over me. I'm like, Christ almighty, we're sinking it, we're sinking it. So it weren't bothered, it weren't bothered about anything. And I hear this train coming. So I'm watching it. Not the train, the thing. And uh, it just stepped back into the bushes. The train shot by, and then it stepped back out again. It was just like it knew. Ages ago that this train had come, whether it could feel it through the ground or not, I don't know, but it weren't bothered about it, even though it was used to being on them tracks anyway. <laughs> and whenever it's sniffing at it, because they said, oh, and there, uh, it goes up to the fence, which is like a, a three bar fence, I'd say, like a normal farmer's fence, a little bit high on railway actually. And it, it went up on its back legs and put its front hand, well, the look like hand, on the fence. And instead of just leaping over it like you'd expect a, a dog or a cat or something like that to do, but no, it climbed over it like a monkey would, like a human would, over the fence. Onto the other side where the field is. And it's still on its back legs. And it walks about 20 yards, dropped down on all fours, and shot off like a rocket. To this day, I never want to see it again. It was horrible. Horrible. Anyway, I hope that helps you.